The crypto market has shed $20 billion in one week. Most of that happening in the last 36 hours. Is it possible that the entire crypto market capitalization is going to go below $1 trillion? Right now, we're at $1 trillion, $140 billion. We're going to talk about this. We're going to get an overall state of the union of crypto. And we're going to kind of talk about the last 36 hours as well and uh, take a look at this week coming up. With that said, thank you for your support. My name is Austin. If you're new to me, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on Twitter, definitely please give me a follow and hit the like button. Okay. So right now, crypto, as I said, is one trillion one hundred forty billion down one percent. And as I said, as I mentioned, we shed, we got rid of twenty billion dollars in the last week. Now that sounds like a lot of money, and it is a lot of money from market capitalization. But I'm going to point this out: it's actually only one point eight two percent. That's actually not a lot in the compare in the kind of in the overall comparison. Here's the thing. Crypto volatile right now. I think the overall financial market and financial sector has a lot of volatility, a lot of fear in it. And people just don't know to go left or right, to stay here, to leave. And I'm not really talking about just crypto. I'm talking about even stocks and all of the above. There's just this undercurrent of uncertainty. Ooh, that's, that's good. I'm going to write that down. Undercurrent of uncertainty. You have to know where you're going. You have to know and have a plan and be okay with that plan. For me, I sleep well at night knowing that I have a long-term plan. I have bought Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, Polygon, all those I've bought them and I'm holding them long-term. These short-term moves down don't really impact me. They don't really bother me. They don't really upset me. Losing $20 billion in market capitalization in the last week doesn't really bother me. Don't misunderstand. It's not fun. And I'm not enjoying myself at all in, in that context. But I'm here every day looking at crypto, looking at all different types of crypto, looking at market conditions, looking at technical analysis and all this stuff. And it comes down to this. $20 billion in a week sounds like a lot. And it is a lot, but not really in the overall grand scheme of things. It's less than 2% of the entire crypto market capitalization. Bitcoin's now touching 27,000 plus. We have some more room to move down. Yeah, possibly. And it's possibly going to happen. But I also, at the end of the day, have faith in crypto. I have faith that crypto is going to come back. It's going to be a three, four, five, seven trillion plus dollar market. And you're here early. And there's a lot of volatility. And there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But I have no fear, uncertainty, and doubt that crypto is going to survive. I know that it is. It's just too big to fail. There's too much around it. It's going to succeed and it's going to continue to be the next biggest thing, in my opinion. That's what helps me sleeping well at night, so to speak. I hope I've given you some insight. I'm not too worried about it. If we do go below $1 trillion, it is what it is. We've been there before. We've moved down to $700 million in the market capitalization. And if that happens, guess what? I'm buying because why not take advantage of those discounts? For all of the above cryptos, any crypto you want will be on massively discounted as I did when we were down there last time in the $700, $800 million market capitalization from the overall crypto market. I bought food for thought. As always, thanks for your support. I'll see you.